Hello, engineering enthusiasts and urban explorers. Today, we delve into the heart of London, a bustling metropolis constantly pushing the boundaries of infrastructure. Our focus? The colossal Silvertown Tunnel, a $2.8 billion behemoth burrowing beneath the River Thames. London, a city renowned for its iconic double-decker buses and the world-famous tube network, also grapples with a significant hurdle, traffic congestion. The River Thames, a majestic artery, can become a frustrating barrier, particularly in the east. Here, the Blackwall Tunnel, the only existing passage under the river, struggles to keep pace with the ever-growing demand. Enter the Silvertown Tunnel, a visionary project aiming to alleviate this pressure. With a projected 20-minute reduction in travel times, this tunnel promises a smoother flow of goods and people across the river. But constructing a passage beneath a major waterway like the Thames is no easy feat. Buckle up as we delve into the engineering marvel that is the Silvertown Tunnel. The project boasts two parallel tunnels, each roughly one kilometer long and featuring dedicated lanes for large vehicles like buses and trucks. This behemoth boasts twin arteries, two tunnels, each roughly one kilometer long, whispering promises of free-flowing traffic. Imagine two lanes dedicated specifically to heavy-duty vehicles, allowing those iconic double-decker buses and hefty cargo trucks to glide through with ease. But the real star of the show? Meet, Jill, a titan among tunnel boring machines, TBMs. This 82-meter-long behemoth, clocking in at a staggering 1,800 tons, churns its way through London's earth with the precision of a surgeon. But here's the catch. Constructing twin tunnels presented a unique puzzle. Traditionally, TBMs take a break after carving one tunnel. They're disassembled, rotated a full 180 degrees, and reassembled to tackle the second tunnel. It's a time-consuming and expensive process. The engineers devised a revolutionary method. A floating rotation. Imagine a colossal chamber, a platform cradling Jill. Hydraulic cylinders and inflatable cushions come into play. By pumping compressed nitrogen, they create an air pillow, essentially allowing the massive TBM to float. This ingenious maneuver enables a complete 180-degree rotation without ever touching the existing tunnel walls, saving both time and resources. It's a testament to the audacity and ingenuity of modern engineering. They didn't just find a way around the problem. They defied expectations with a game-changing solution. But the Silvertown Tunnel transcends mere traffic flow. It's a catalyst for urban regeneration. While the tunnel itself won't welcome pedestrians or cyclists directly, its impact will extend far beyond the road. Expect new walking and cycling routes, operational buildings designed with sustainability in mind, and even potential footbridges connecting the revitalized riverfront to the bustling city center. Scheduled for completion in 2025, the Silvertown Tunnel stands as a testament to London's unwavering commitment to infrastructure development. It's a project with the potential to reshape the city's east end, fostering smoother commutes and potentially unlocking new economic opportunities. London's infrastructure story doesn't end here. The city is constantly exploring innovative ways to connect its diverse districts. Perhaps future projects will incorporate more sustainable modes of transportation alongside road traffic. What are your thoughts on the Silvertown Tunnel? Do you think it's a game changer for London? Leave a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of the $2.8 billion beast the Silvertown Tunnel. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more in-depth dives into the world of engineering marvels and groundbreaking infrastructure projects. Until next time, stay curious.